Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center is located on the campus of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. It is one of the oldest and largest planetariums in the United States having welcomed more than 7 million visitors by its 60th anniversary in 2009. As a unit of the university, Moorhead receives about one-third of its funding through state sources, one-third through ticket and gift sales, and one-third through gifts and grants. First opened in 1949, the planetarium was used to train Gemini and Apollo program astronauts in celestial navigation. Until the late 1990s, it contained one of the largest working Copernican orreries in the world. The facility was donated to the university by alumnus John Motley Moorhead III who invested more than $3 million in the facility. History Moorhead Planetarium opened on May 10, 1949 after 17 months of construction. The first planetarium in the South, it was the sixth to be built in the United States. Designed by the same architects who planned the Jefferson Memorial, the cost of its construction, more than $23 million in today's dollars, made it the most expensive building ever built in North Carolina at the time. Moorhead Planetarium was officially dedicated during a ceremony held on May 10, 1949. Since Zeiss, the German firm that produced planetarium projectors, had lost most of its factories during World War II, there were very few projectors available at the time. Moorhead had to travel to Sweden, where he had previously served as American ambassador, to purchase a Zeiss Model 2 to serve as the heart of North Carolina's new planetarium. Let There Be Light was the planetarium's first show. <laughs> NASA From 1959 through 1975 every astronaut in the Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Skylab, and Apollo Soyuz test project programs spent hours in celestial navigation training at the planetarium. Moorhead technicians developed simplified replicas of flight modules and tools for use in the training, often from plywood or cardboard. A mock-up simulating key parts of the Gemini capsule was constructed from plywood and mounted on a barber chair to enable changes in pitch and yaw. Several of these items are on display at the planetarium. That training may have helped save astronauts' lives on occasion. Astronauts aboard Apollo 12 called upon that training after their Saturn V rocket was hit by lightning twice during ascent, knocking spacecraft systems offline and requiring them to configure navigation systems based on fixes taken manually. Gordon Cooper used his training to make the most accurate landing of Project Mercury after a power failure affected navigational systems. Astronauts enjoyed soft drinks, cookies and other snacks during their intense hours-long training session, leading planetarium employees to create the code name, Cookie Time, to refer to the training sessions. Occasionally, word of the sessions leaked out and noted clothing designer and Chapel Hill native Alexander Julian recalls meeting Mercury astronauts during a visit to the planetarium while in junior high, the first astronaut to train at Moorhead, in March 1964, was Neil Armstrong. Armstrong visited again only months before the 1969 launch of Apollo 11, spending a total of 20 days at Moorhead over 11 training sessions, more than any other astronaut. Astronauts commented that the large dome was 
highly realistic, calling the facility superb. In all, the astronauts who trained at the planetarium were Buzz Aldrin, Joseph P. Allen, William Anders, Neil Armstrong, Charles Bassett, Alan Bean, Frank Borman, Vance D. Brand, John S. Bull, Scott Carpenter, Gerald P. Carr, Eugene Kernan, Roger B. Chaffee, Philip K. Chapman, Michael Collins, Pete Conrad, Gordon Cooper, Walter Cunningham, Charles Duke, Don F. F. Eisele, Anthony W. England, Joe Engel, Ronald E. Evans, Theodore Freeman, Edward Givens, John Glenn, Richard F. Gordon Jr., Gus Grissom, Fred Hayes, Carl Gordon Hennies, James Irwin, Joseph P. Kerwin, William B. Lenoir, Don L. Lind, Anthony Llewellyn, Jack R. Lausmer, Jim Lovell, Ken Mattingly, Bruce McCandless II, James McDivitt, Kurt Mitchell, Edgar Mitchell, Story Musgrave, Brian O'Leary, Robert A. Parker, William R. Pogue, Stuart Rusa, Wally Schirrer, Rusty Schweikert, David Scott, Elliot C., Alan Shepard, Deke Slayton, Thomas P. Stafford, Jack Swigert, William E. Thornton, Paul J. White, Ed White, Clifton Williams, Alfred M. Warden, and John Young. Topic: Full Dome Planetarium. Moorhead's planetarium seats about 240 people, with a dome that is 68 feet (21 meters) in diameter and 44 feet (13 meters) tall. It currently boasts two different projection systems. In February 2010, Moorhead introduced its new Full Dome Digital Video FDV projection system, the largest FDV installation in the southeastern United States. The new system provides super high definition image resolution, 5.1 surround sound and a uniquely immersive planetarium experience. Funding for the new system was provided by GlaxoSmithKline, and the Planetarium's Star Theatre is now named the GlaxoSmithKline Fulldome Theatre. Moorhead's historic star projector, a Carl Zeiss Model VI, was installed in 1969 and remained in limited use as of April 2011, primarily for field trip groups. This projector displays about 8,900 different stars on the dome overhead. The analog planetarium shows are a combined effort of the Zeiss projector, slide projectors and video projectors working together to form a multimedia experience. Planetarium officials hope to display at least a portion of the projector somewhere in the center. The projector was removed in August 2011. <inaudible> <inaudible> exhibits On February 23, 2007, Moorhead opened its first interactive exhibit, Zoom In! Science at the Extremes. It features current science at the extremes of size and scale, including research done by UNC scientists. The Ancient Carolinians opened on November 17, 2007. This exhibit explores the lives of the first people to live on the land now known as North Carolina, interpreting the use of 10,000-year-old artifacts from the Hardaway Archaeological Site. This exhibit is supported in part by the Alcoa Foundation, which donated the artifacts to the university. After January 1, 2009, the exhibit installation was removed so that the ancient Carolinians could become Moorhead's first traveling exhibit. Topic: <laughs> Science Stage. 
Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center offers live, educator-led programs in its science stage. Science Live! shows present the foundations of science through experiments and demonstrations that often involve volunteers from the audience. Science 360 programs are focused on bringing current science to audience members through images, video, demonstrations, and audience interaction. Topic: External programs. The Destiny Traveling Science Learning Program, which was founded by UNC in 2000, became part of Moorhead in 2006. Destiny develops cutting-edge science curricula, provides professional development for science teachers grades 6 to 12, and operates two mobile science labs that travel throughout North Carolina. The Planet's Portable Planetarium program brings the Full Dome Planetarium experience to elementary schools that are too far from Moorhead to plan a field trip to the center. Topic: <laughs> Jupiter Fellowship Each year, the Jupiter Committee a volunteer group that assists in planning the Jupiter Ball fundraising gala for Moorhead awards the Jupiter Fellowship. This award goes to the student employees who submits the best proposal for a Moorhead program, activity or innovation. The fellowship funds the implementation of the proposal. Topic: Moorhead Observatory. Moorhead Observatory, located on the east end of the top floor of the Moorhead Building, houses a 24-inch (61 cm) Perkin Elmer reflecting telescope operated by the UNC Physics and Astronomy Department. Faint object observing is still possible with narrow wavelength filters to block the city lights of Chapel Hill. The observatory supports research programs in bright star spectroscopy and optical counterparts of gamma ray bursts. Topic: <laughs> Events Record-setting crowds attended events for the 2012 transit of Venus. Nearly 3,000 crowded the planetarium, observatory, rooftop, and sidewalk outdrawing events at major planetariums in larger cities such as the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles and Adler Planetarium in Chicago. Moorhead opened the planetarium and observatory to the public, hosted astronomy talks and volunteers from local astronomy clubs with solar telescopes and distributed solar viewing glasses. See also North Carolina Science Festival